Cisco Umbrella, Secure Web Gateway, Use Case, WSA Proxy Chain. We're gonna use the WSA and we're gonna build the configuration in this video. The goal here is to show how fast you can get or leverage the Umbrella Secure Web Gateway. And in this case, if there's multiple different transport mechanisms, but we're gonna use the WSA either net new as an example, or you have an existing deployment. And what it's gonna do is as the, um, the web traffic gets to the WSA proxy, it's gonna forward that off to Umbrella for enforcement. So we'll go ahead First thing is, this is a clean install. I'm just making sure that I have the license keys enabled so I can go ahead and work through the setup wizard. We're gonna do appliance mode standard. We'll give it a host name. We're gonna use the existing DNS for, from Umbrella. We'll set a time zone and we'll go ahead and hit next. From here, network context, there's nothing that we're gonna do here. We'll come back around uh, doing the proxy chaining mechanism a little bit later. Here, I'm gonna change the IP address. And I'm gonna use the M1 interface. You could use the P1 as well for data if you choose to do so and use M for management. We're not gonna do anything around layer four traffic monitoring. Default gateway is good. I don't have any additional networks here. and next and then we'll go ahead here and enter a passphrase and we'll go next here as well. Now I'll go ahead and hit next. You'll get a, an error because it is actually requires you an email system alert um, email address to be inserted here. So we'll go ahead and add that now. Hit next. So monitor all traffic. So this is just a summary. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tweak this to, um, to our needs very, very shortly here. So here's your summary. Go ahead and install that configuration. That'll go ahead and install. You'll reconnect, log back in, and now we're gonna actually start the configuration to do proxy chaining. So here is uh, some system setup next steps that you can follow. We're just going to skip that, go to dashboard, and then we're going to create um, the first piece of this. So, so this is going to be a custom list of URLs that we're going to exempt from being sent to the proxy itself. And that list is available on, on the Umbrella SIG document on when you're configuring the secure web gateway component. Now there's a, another one that we might want to consider around SAML, but we'll do that in later videos. So we've got this custom list built. We'll go ahead now and move towards routing policies. We've got a default global routing policy. That's a direct connection. We're gonna go ahead and, and create one for that bypass list. So we'll go ahead and give this a name. And here we're gonna actually URL categories. This is where we're gonna use that, that custom list that we just created. It's almost like an object. And now we're gonna apply it here. We'll go ahead and save this out. And the goal here again is all of these URLs or destinations, we're just bypassing proxy as a whole. So we'll go ahead and save and now we can go ahead and we'll add a couple more here. So we're gonna add one for HTTP and another one for HTTPS. So we'll give this maybe something like umbrella all HTTP, so UMB, all HTTP. In my case, you name it, whatever makes sense to you. I'm gonna go ahead and select the HTTP protocol. 
We'll hit done. And see, in this case, if you already had, say, packs deployed to your users for um, to, to hit the WSA or you have WCCP, um, whatever mechanism you use to get to WSA, if it, that was already existing, this is a very quick way of getting uh, or transitioning from on-premise proxy to using the uh, umbrella instance in the cloud. Now, if you don't have them, there's still easy mechanisms to get that to transition. Remember, this is one option. There's many others. There's uh, AnyConnect client, there's IPsec tunnels, and I'll go over those in subsequent videos. So here we're going to add HTTPS, and we'll go ahead and hit Done. And we'll hit Submit. And so for routing destinations, um, when we come back, I'm going to reorder this here, bypass at the top, and then I'll do HTTP, HTTPS. But the routing destination, so proxy um, chain destination, this is going to be a direct connection. The other ones are actually going to be um, pointed to umbrella one for 80 and then one for 443 now I initially created one that had them both together um, and then I come to realize that I probably should separate them so I'm going to modify this here so we're going to create a proxy group and you can see I've got a name here I'm going to modify the name to be just HTTP so umbrella sassy HTTP and what I'll do is I'll get rid of the 443 and then I'll just create another one um, that'll allow me to forward the traffic to um, Umbrella using 443. So we've got um, the HTTP one completed. We'll go ahead and Add S to the end of this. We'll go ahead and put in the SIG um, address. We'll change the port to 443 and we'll hit submit. So now that I have these two, we'll jump back and we'll assign those to the to, to the other two routing uh, policies. So we'll go ahead and click the umbrella or UMB all HTTP global policy. We're going to change that. And this is now you can see there's that HTTP object. I like to call them objects and we'll apply it to policy and we'll do that for 443 as well hit submit and we're moving along so we're about nine minutes I figure 10 minutes to get this um, ready to be able to um, send traffic to it another thing that we probably want to do is come in and set up the XFF or X forwarding so we and make sure that we can pick up the initiating IP that's making the request and so when we build out policy there's kind of going to be three different ways that we're going to do this and I'm going to do all three and they'll be in follow-up videos one will be based on network so the entire external network, whatever anybody's coming out of that is going to get a proxy policy. That's not very granular. Then I'm going to do IP based and then we'll do maybe something like Active Directory or SAML. We need to go ahead and download the Umbrella Trusted Root CA. We're going to go ahead and add that to um, the WSA as well. That way um, it trusts Umbrella. So we'll go ahead and um, import that certificate that we just downloaded from Umbrella itself. And submit. All right, looks pretty good. Scroll down here, we'll hit submit. And from here, I think what we could do is commit the changes. Give it a name here. 
And that's our base config. The only thing left now is depending on how we're gonna build policy. So what we'll do is we'll follow up in the next video in regards to doing a network-based policy, and then we'll get a little bit more granular in subsequent videos. But that's it.